these mysterious creatures that so enthralls us. Seeing one in the wild is a thrill that we remember for decades. Something that makes us feel a little bit special, as if we've somehow been chosen to share their ephemeral presence, if only for a moment. What if you could experience more than just a fleeting glimpse of a wing or a quiet silhouette at sunset, but actually spend your life studying and handling these totemic animals? In the fields and forests of western Montana, the biologists and volunteers with the Owl Research Institute do just that. Montana hosts 15 different owl species through the year, most of which stay at least to raise their young, if not year-round. From the tiny northern sawwet owls to the nearly invisible long-eared owls. From the fierce great horned owls to the somewhat comical burrowing owls. And even the occasional arctic tourist, the magical snowy owl. Montana's diversity of ecosystems supports a parliament of species. The things that fascinated me early on was, first of all, they look like us. You know, there is some attraction, I believe, in human societies to animals that look like us. They've got the symmetrical face, you know, the forward-facing eyes, the flat face, the nose, and even the feathers could even mimic hair. You know, there's something about owls that attract us. These owl features are actually adaptations of a highly specialized predator. On some species, those feathers that look like hair have actually evolved to reduce the sound of their flight. You see that kind of comb-like structure on the leading edge of the blast primary there. And those are just modified barbs. And what that does is it helps break up the airstream as it's coming over the top of the airfoil there. And so there's not a steady stream of air that causes noise. If you also look at the surface of the feather, you'll notice a kind of velvet-like nap, real soft looking texture there. And that's just modified barbules sticking perpendicular to the plane of the feather. What that does is reduces feather to feather friction noise. And so feathers, when they're sliding against each other, they don't make noise. If you look at the back of the wing, you have kind of a fringe structure and it goes up into the feather. And what that does, as the slower moving air meets the faster moving air over the top of the airfoil, there can be a flutter type of noise. And that broken back of the wing, the uneven surface just helps reduce flutter noise. And more than hiding their, their flight noise from prey, it's mostly so that they can use their really well adapted hearing. The flat, forward looking face and eyes are specialized tools for collecting sight and sound. Hearing is obviously important to these guys. Sight's pretty important as well, we think. Um, they can see, they think probably like three times better than us. They have a higher rod to cone ratio. Cones are for color rods, you know, black and white. So they have pretty good low light visibility, but probably not much color. Asymmetrical ear opening, so the left side is higher than the, the right side on the long ear doll just helps and locate us on a vertical plane. You know, someone snaps behind us, we're pretty good of figuring out within a degree or two where that sound is coming from, but we're pretty poor on the horizontal plane. And that asymmetrical ear opening really helps them pinpoint on the vertical plane so they can, you know, come right, right down on a, on a prey. And finally, sharp knives with incredible seizing force. An owl's talons are essential tools of its trade. The strong, deadly talons are for seizing prey or perching on a branch or a fence post. Owls are famously elusive, yet, with a bit of knowledge and practice, they are easily seen across the state of Montana. When we think about the United States and Canada, there are right around 20, 21 species of owls recognized in those two countries. As I got interested in owls, I realized that 15 species of owls occurred in Montana. And of those 15 species, 14 species breed here. And the snowy owl is a winter visitor. From the prairies in the east to the valleys, mountains, and forests of the west, Owls abound in the large, pristine Montana habitats that allow them to thrive. A walk in the woods 
or a drive down a dirt road as light and dark slide over one another can often lead to a moment you'll hold on to forever.